So today we're sitting down with grade six student Sophie. Welcome, Sophie. A couple of weeks ago, I don't know, I don't know if you're aware of this, but the principal of the junior school, Ms. Mitchell, received an email from Kat T. Harandi, the president of PALS Autism Society. And she just shared with us um, the wonderful um, description of everything you've been doing with that society and how she pleased she was with, with the work that you've done. She said that you've dedicated your time with events and activities, that you've helped with fundraising, even donating your allowance to raise funds. And to quote her exactly, she said, it is rare to find a child at this age showing such leadership and interest in philanthropy. So thanks so much for, so, for joining us today, Sophie. And I just want to ask you a few questions, starting with what inspired you to get involved with the society? Well, um, the president of PALS Autism Society, they are a close like friend of my mom's and a friend of mine, sort of. So she, um, I know that like I have a relationship with my mom, but with the her daughter has autism, and I know that mm -hmm. with some of like those challenges, it's not as easy to have a good, a nice relationship with her daughter. And I know all these things that she does, like she's helped make the school. She's she helps these kids with autism, and I feel like it's really inspiring. Wow. So I wanted to help. And what kind of work do you do with the society? What kind of volunteer work? Well. Um, we they had a little party sort of where they were lighting a tree at the Sutton Place Hotel and we went there and I donated my money and right now I'm making crafts and I sell them to make money and all the profits I make go to the society. That's amazing. What do you enjoy about the work that you're doing? It's fun to make the crafts, so that's really fun for me and then it's going to such a great cause. It really is. It's, I, I'm sitting here and I'm inspired by you. Why do you think it's important to give back to our community? Because I feel like a lot of us have so much and then there's the people who don't have as much as we do. And then we're just like, and it's important to like give back, to help them just have like a little bit of what we have sometimes. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Sophie, for joining us today. It's been a real pleasure. Do you have any fundraising events or activities coming up with the Society? Um, not that I know of. Like, I'm still selling the crafts, but I mostly just do that in my grade because okay. it's easy to get it to people. But Well, good luck with your future fundraising, and thanks thank again for being here. Thank you for having me here.